maximum likelihood estimation is a modern technique for estimating simultaneous equations models. For many people, the term structural equation modeling or SCM is a synonym for maximum likelihood estimation of this kind of models. This technique differs from the older econometrics techniques in that it requires numerical optimization. So there is no closed form solution, no single equation that we can apply to estimate a model. Instead, what we do is that we have some starting values. So we have an initial guess, for example, based on two, uh, two states least squares estimates, and we set the model parameter values to the initial guess. Then we calculate model implied covariance matrix. So uh, conceptually, we would apply the path analysis tracing rules, and that gives us a covariance matrix between all these observed variables x, y, and z. In practice, computer applies matrix algebra, but conceptually uh, we, up, we can think of this, this being like an application of the tracing rules. Then the estimation criterion is that we need to make these uh, model implied covariances here as close as possible to the sample covariances. So, so we adjust the model parameters so that the implied covariance matrix is as close as possible to the sample covariance matrix. For just identified models, we can get them to be exactly equal because just identification basically means that all information we have is required for estimation, so there is no excess. For over identified models, which most useful models are, we require a more precise estimation rule because computer does not know what as close as possible means, so we need an operational definition. There are a couple of ways of defining as close as possible, which lead to different estimation techniques. But in maximum likelihood estimation, the as close as possible refers to uh, finding an implied covariance matrix such that the observed covariance matrix uh, would be a likely observation if the data were multivariate normal. So there is a multivariate normality assumption here, and uh, then we calculate what is the likelihood of getting a sample with this particular uh, covariance matrix if this is our population covariance matrix and the data are multivariate normal. And then computer adjusts these error variance estimates and these regression est estimates here to find uh, that maximum of the likelihood. So that's, that's simple. Basically this is fitting to covariance matrices and there are other techniques that use the same principle, but maximum likelihood is, is the most commonly used technique among these. So how does this technique compare against the GMM, the other modern alternative? The uh, maximum likelihood is more efficient. The reason why it is more efficient that we introduce the multivariate normality assumption with GMM does not make. So every time when you introduce assumptions, you generally gain efficiency. It is also more flexible and uh, for example, maximum likelihood estimation can be uh, used to estimate this model here and this cannot be estimated with GMM. The reason why this fails with GMM or uh, here I'm using uh, seemingly unrelated uh, regressions, why it fails or three states least squares I mean, why it fails is that uh, GMM and other techniques in that family assume that these error terms are uncorrelated. With maximum likelihood estimation, if we have a good reason to do so, we can constrain these two error terms to be uncorrelated, which identifies the model. And it allows us more flexibility. Of course, constraining two quantities that we don't know the unknown causes to be uncorrelated is a rather strong assumption that should be justified based on theory, but it is possible to do. Maximum likelihood estimation is more computational and challenging. Whereas in, in GMM you always get estimates because it's just a straightforward application of matrix algebra. In maximum likelihood estimation, the computer has to iteratively find the solution and these numerical optimization techniques can sometimes fail. And there is the, uh, the multivariate normality assumption, and, but that can be relaxed by applying other techniques from the same family that use a different measure for as close as possible for the fitted matrix and observed matrix, such as the ADF estimator. And there are also robust statistics that can be applied and corrective statistics that can be applied if uh, the violation of multivariate normality is a big concern with the data. 
I will not go into detail on the normality assumption, but it is useful to understand at this point that when we are, if we decide between GMM and ML, then ML adds an assumption that GMM does not make. 